stability of submerged bodies and stability of floating bodies that is equilibrium conditions of submerged body and floating body hi all welcome to civilians myself srishma let's talk about the stability of submerged body and stability of floating body in fluid mechanics for a submerged body there are three equilibrium conditions first one stable equilibrium condition the second one unstable equilibrium condition and the third one is neutral equilibrium condition for a submerged body the whole weight is concentrated at a point which is known as its center of gravity and we can represent this point as g when this body is immersed into water there will be an equal volume of water displaced the whole weight of displaced volume of water is concentrated at a point which is called as its center of buoyancy we can represent this point as b and also please note that the weight of the body is acting downwards and the buoyant force is acting upwards for a stable equilibrium condition the center of buoyancy will lie above the center of gravity in this case when the body is subjected to any kind of displacement will produce a restoring couple which in turn will try to regain that body into its original position now the second case is unstable equilibrium in this condition center of gravity will lie above the center of buoyancy and also a destroying couple will produce when the body is subjected to any kind of displacement and this destroying couple will keep the body away from its original position and the third one is neutral equilibrium condition in which the center of gravity and center of buoyancy will lie on the same point these are the stability conditions of submerged bodies now let's look into the cases of floating body for a floating body we are considering meta center and center of gravity instead of center of buoyancy and center of gravity let's see what is a meta center it is the point about which a floating body starts oscillating when it is subjected to any kind of displacement or tilting or we can say it is the point of intersection of an imaginary line passing through the center of buoyancy and center of gravity and an imaginary line passing through the new center of buoyancy created when the body is subjected to a tilting or displacement for a floating body if meta center lies above the center of gravity stable equilibrium condition is developed and an unstable equilibrium condition is developed when this meta center lies below the center of gravity likewise submerged body condition here also neutral equilibrium condition is developed when the meta center and center of gravity coincides keep in mind that while we were discussing about submerged body conditions it was center of buoyancy and center of gravity but in the case of floating bodies instead of center of buoyancy and center of gravity it is meta center and center of gravity this is an inescapable topic from fluid mechanics hope you all understood this one now let's discuss previous questions related to this you can comment your answers below a floating body is said to be in stable equilibrium if option a its center of gravity is below the center of buoyancy option b its meta centric height is a positive value option c its meta centric height is a zero option d its meta centric height is a negative value the body floating in the liquid it is said to be neutral if its meta center is option a coincide with center of gravity option b above the center of gravity option c below the center of gravity option d between center of buoyancy and center of gravity the force of buoyancy depends upon the option a weight of the liquid displaced option b viscosity of the liquid option c compressibility of liquid option d all of the above the center of gravity of volume of a liquid is displaced is called as option a center of pressure option b center of buoyancy option c meta center option d none of the above you can comment your answers below learn from the best